In this video, we will demonstrate the activity series experiment. In part A of this experiment, we will demonstrate the reactions of metals with water. Sodium will be shown to you in lab. Calcium and magnesium will be demonstrated here. We will also do reactions with HCl, including metals such as aluminum, magnesium, iron, copper, and zinc will be shown to you here. In the first part of the lab, we will react calcium at left and magnesium at right with regular water. As you can see, calcium reacts quite vigorously with water and forms calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide. That is what gives rise to the white color you start to see in solution. The reaction of magnesium with water is much slower. So calcium continues to bubble vigorously, leaving you with a white solution when it has completely reacted with the water. And if we look at magnesium, we see that small bubbles are starting to form on the surface of the metal, meaning that it does react with water. In the second part of this experiment, we take iron, aluminum, copper, magnesium, and zinc and react them with HCl. So the first test tube contains iron, and you see that initially there's no reaction. Aluminum and copper, same thing. With magnesium, there's a very vigorous reaction with HCl immediately, and the magnesium strip dissolves in the HCl. Zinc also has quite a vigorous reaction with HCl, but less vigorous than magnesium, as most of the metal does not dissolve, but we do form quite a large amount of H2 gas. If we take a look back at iron, we see that m bubbles are forming on the surface of the metal, so there is a reaction. And the same thing is true of aluminum. The only metal that doesn't react with HCl is copper, meaning it's lower than hydrogen on the activity series. In part B of this lab, we will react different metals with metal salts. In the first part, we will react copper with iron sulfate, and we see that even after several seconds, there is no reaction between the copper and the iron solution. The next reaction is that of iron with copper sulfate. Within a few seconds, you can see that the nail begins to turn reddish brown. This is not the formation of rust, but rather the depositing of copper metal on the nail. This means that there is definitely a reaction happening between copper and iron. After a minute and a half, we see that the nail is even more reddish brown. And when we decant the copper sulfate, the nail is quite red, indicating that copper has been deposited. The last reaction is that of copper with silver nitrate. Within just a few seconds, you begin to see the formation of silver crystals on the copper metal. And the copper no longer looks orange, but rather the silvery color. You can also see, if you look closely, some streaks in the solution. That is the result of copper ions going into solution as silver is deposited. Clearly, there is a reaction happening between copper and silver nitrate. And over a few seconds, even more silver is formed, and the solution starts to turn slightly blue as more copper ions go into solution.